right, similar problem as the ones before. Hopefully you're getting used to these. Um, I'll say it one more time, even though I said it before. There's, if you look at the original problem on the top here, you can see that there's, or you should know, that there is invisible parentheses around this uh, b plus 3. Anytime there's an, an expression of multiple terms in either the numerator or the denominator, then we treat that as something that we need to solve first before we can do the division. Okay, So knowing that, let's take a look. We've got our original problem untouched, b plus 3 over 5 equals negative 1. And what do we need to do? Um, well, again, because this is grouped and happening first in parentheses, then the last thing that would happen would be divided by 5. So that's the first thing we need to undo is the divided by 5 with the times 5. So we do 5 times. Everything that was on the left-hand side goes in here. We're just multiplying the entire side by 5. This is a logical thing that you need to think about. If you're going to make one side five times bigger and the other side five times bigger. You can't just do it to part of it. You can't just take some of the things there and you know, multiply them by five. It's got to be all of it. And that's why we put everything into the, uh, everything that's already existing there into the parentheses. Okay, so five times all of that equals five times all of that. And then now what we're doing is we're simplifying. So um, keep in mind that we, here, we multiplied by 5 to undo this divided by 5, so that both of those things will disappear, canceled out, leaving it with just b plus 3. And then this 5 times the negative 1 is the negative 5. Okay, so what do we need to do now? We need to subtract 3 from both sides. So we're going to write what was originally there, b plus 3, and then minus 3. b plus 3 minus 3. And then write what was originally there, minus 5 minus 3, minus 5, minus 3. Okay, then we're simplifying. So these two parts, the whole point of putting minus 3 on both sides was to cancel out that. So we should be left with just b. And we are. And when we do this side, negative 5 minus another 3, we're already down 5. We go down another 3, down a total of 8, negative 8. Okay, and we believe that b is equal to negative 8. So when we do our proof, we say, okay, original problem, untouched, and then the second line, what we're going to write is the exact same equation, but wherever there was a variable, we put parentheses with the value inside of it. So we put parentheses negative 8, close parentheses, plus 3 over 5 equals negative 1. And now we're simplifying using order of operations. And because up top, see where there's that b plus 3 is there's an imaginary or there's an invisible parentheses around it. That means that this part needs to get done first. So we do negative 8 plus 3, and that's negative 5, and that's still over 5, and it equals negative 1. Okay, so now we need to just simplify this. What's negative 5 divided by 5? That's negative 1. And since it says negative 1 on the other side as well, we give it a check mark. And that is a properly done solution and proof.